Hey guys, welcome back. In today's quick tip video, I'm gonna show you how to use the paint bucket tool. So far, we've only used shapes that we draw, but it's a lot quicker if you use the paint bucket tool if you know how to use it correctly. So let's get started. I'm gonna open up a new 2D animation um, scene. I'm gonna zoom out a bit and um, get started. The paint bucket tool is right underneath the pencil tool. It's called the fill tool. And I am going to draw a couple shapes just to prepare. I'm gonna crank up the, uh, the radius, have the strength at one. And I'm gonna draw a shape that will be closed. For example, a circle that is closed right there. There are no gaps. And I'm gonna draw another shape that is open. That's open right there. And the significance is that when you use the paint bucket tool, all the shapes that you draw have to be closed shapes so that it can retain the fill. If you have a gap, even a little tiny gap, a one pixel gap, the, the paint will spill out and fill um, all the rest of the page or anything beyond this shape. So let's, uh, the, the other thing that we need to do to prepare is create a couple of materials. And I did a video on, on how to create materials. It's down here, the little, um, ball icon and here are your materials I'm gonna click on the plus sign to create a new material new and I'm gonna call it red and I'm gonna delete the stroke um, activate the fill and just pick a, a, a red just a bright red I'm gonna create another one new and I'm going to do a green one. And again, take out the take out the stroke. This is the fill. And click on the color. Lighten it up and pick a green one. Something maybe just a little right there. That green. So now that I have my materials, they'll show up here, right there. And now I can use my fill area tool, my paint bucket tool. And I'm gonna select the red one first and fill this area just by clicking on it. Oh, I like to go to the layers by clicking on the uh, stroke icon and go to the fills layer. I'm gonna fill this with red using the paint bucket tool or the fill area tool. And just by clicking on it, I'm just going to click once, click, and it fills it just like that. Remember, this shape has to be a closed shape. If it's got, I'm going to change colors here just to um, demonstrate. If it's got a little gap and I click on it, it will fill the entire thing. I'm going to undo that, Command Z. And so there's two fixes for this. The first one is if you go back to the pen tool, go back to the stroke, go back to the lines, and you draw in that uh, gap. And now you can paint it. Fill, green, and then click, and then boom, it, it's, oh, sorry, forgot. In the fills um, layer, click, and then it's green. That's awesome. That's easy. You you close that gap and now it works. But what if you want that gap? What if you really want that gap but you want to fill it uh, green? There's a way to do that. I'm going to undo, undo, and there's that gap. Well, I'm going to grab the pen tool. I'm going to grab the green material and then I can draw with this pen tool I can draw any shape with the pen tool with the green fill I'm gonna undo that so I am going to draw a little bit of a green just to close that layer but I'm gonna do it in the fills layer 
draw a little green gap to to fill that gap now i can get the paint bucket tool fills layer and then click on it and that works and you you get the little gap that you wanted for some reason it's there and it's filled and you use the paint bucket tool or or it's called uh it, it really is called uh the fill area tool uh, Photoshop and other other programs call it a paint bucket. It's the same thing. It's a little paint bucket tool. It's a fill area tool. This technique is using the fill area is very very easy, very fast, and it helps you color the area uh, very quickly. Um, guys, as always, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.